गुड इवनिंग गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन सो विल स्टार्ट विथ इंडियन जियोग्राफी एक मिनट हाउ आर यू गोइंग कैन समन कॉल फ्रॉम द ऑफिस इको ज्यादा लग रहा है आपको so we divide it into two parts that is the physical bolte <laughs> raho physical geography human geography and the agriculture geography ab thodi pre ki hawa behne lag gayi hai so you do this geography in the class itself that is on 21st of this month your geography for both pre and main should be finished so ek geography indian geography pe confidence now how to do the physical geography whatever we do in the class plus daily test we will solve in the class from today and thirdly that assignments from 9th and 10th ncrts and then we will have in the next day test on the 9th and 10th ncrts so that our indian geography is completely done from the prelims point of view based based on both the map based question as well as the the mcq based question so we will start our journey with the 9th ncrt 9th ncrt is much better than the 11th ncrt 9th ncrt may there are some of the micro points which are given which you should start reading from the books the i may miss those points in the class while telling so when you read those ncrts chapter by chapter hardly it will take 20 minutes after going home but colorful ncrt by the original ncrt not the xerox you can read online also colorful ncrts usme jo maps diye hai usme se direct question aate hai har saal prelims mein 9th and 10th ncrt are very very important from the prelims point of view then human geography of ncrt we are not worrying much This is very important. जो हम क्लास में करेंगे प्लस बजट एंड इकोनॉमिक सर्वे से जो जो स्कीम्स आएगी विल हैव टू डू दैट सो फ्रॉम टूमोरो ऑनवर्ड्स विल ऑल्सो स्टार्ट लास्ट फिफ्टीन मिनट्स ऑफ द लेक्चर फॉर सम इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेट्स सो केरला कल कौन से स्टेट से स्टार्ट करना है तमिलनाडु से या नॉर्थ ईस्ट से महाराष्ट्र से स्टॉप नहीं कर स्टार्ट नहीं महाराष्ट्र में कुछ नहीं है सो वो वहां पे डांस फॉर्म है तमाशा जो कभी यूपीएससी पूछेगा नहीं सो वी विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम इधर तमिलनाडु और केरला और नॉर्थ ईस्ट दैट इज सो विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम तमिलनाडु सो तमिलनाडु यू ब्रिंग द एटलस वी विल ड्रॉ द तमिलनाडु एंड उसके साथ साथ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी जो आपको बाद में सर और मैम आपको डिटेल में बाद में बताएंगे बट यू शुड नो अबेसिक आइडिया की कौन सा डांस है वहां पे so the cultural aspects that is the human aspects some important tribes of the states physical geography of the states and agriculture of the states so this way we will cover the regional geography also of india maybe tamil nadu 15 minutes kerala can be done with one smaller state rajasthan jo bada state hai it can be done with maharashtra because dono mein aadhi zameen banjar hai that is the so it is not that important from the exam point of view so this is way we will do each and every state so first we will have a basic idea of what is this the physical geography of india that is the spatial analysis of india so when we consider the space of india 
कैन यू टेल मी द लॉन्गिट्यूडनल एंड द लैटिट्यूडनल एक्सटेंट ऑफ इंडिया सो वॉट इज द लॉन्गिट्यूडनल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ मेन लैंड इंडिया so the india is located between 4 the latitudinal and the longitudinal extent of india so first look at the longitudinal extent of india you can take down the longitudinal extent of india the longitudinal extent of india is 68.7 degrees east 68.7 degrees east to 97.25 degrees east to 97.25 degrees east between which states you already know between gujarat and arunachal pradesh between the gujarat and arunachal pradesh for a distance of 2, for a distance of somewhere around 2900 kilometers for a distance of around 2900 kilometers exact kitna hai 2933 kilometers fine having a time gap of 2 hours between gujarat and arunachal uske baad we have already done isliye there is a demand for separate time for the northeastern states so the gap between gujarat and arunachal pradesh is 2 hours fine with this second the latitudinal extent of india is somewhere around the kilometers mein 3 to 1 4 kilometers the latitudinal extent of india is 3 to 1 4 kilometers between between 8.4 degree north we are not considering Laksh andaman nicobar is mein 8.4 degree north to 37. 6 degrees north to 37.6 degrees north ab understand here kya question aa sakta hai bahut kam chance hai question aane ka in this factual data question will be applied that is the latitudinal latitudinal and the longitudinal extent of india is more or less same kitna 29 degrees ka difference somewhere around 29 to 30 degrees ka difference and if the longitudinal and the latitudinal extent of india is same why is the difference in kilometers kyunki ye aur ye same hona chahiye if the longitudinal distance is also 30 degrees and if the latitudinal distance is also 30 degrees then why the kilometers are different why this is smaller in kilometers or length and why this is larger in length why are you understanding my question that is if the longitudinal and the latitudinal distance of both india is more or less same 30 degrees ka difference hai then why there is a difference in kilometer or why the east west extent of india is smaller than the north south extent of india why is it so because the longitudes have the different distances as they move away from the equator the distance between the longitude keeps on decreasing getting it likhne ki zarurat hai you know this already we have all done this earlier so the second open now the map which is the northernmost point of india the physical political map of india the first page political map of india The southern, northernmost point of India is Siachen. Ke just upper Indira Kol. We will see later. And the southernmost point of India is Indira Point. Where is Indira Point? Andaman and Nicobar Islands. 
ऑन निकोबार आइलैंड्स और ऑन अंदमान आइलैंड्स ऑन द निकोबार आइलैंड्स कोई लिखो मत हम ये सब बाद में देखेंगे वॉट इज दैप मोस्ट कैपिटल इटानगर इटा दिस अरुणाचल की कैपिटल या श्रीनगर श्रीनगर वॉट इज द सदर्न मोस्ट कैपिटल थिरुअनंतपुरम श्योर एटलस में देखना दस नाउ दस द नाउ डू यू आर यू हैविंग स्केल बिग स्केल कल से स्केल लेके आना अब ट्राई टू ड्रॉ अ लाइन फ्रॉम श्रीनगर कीप अ स्केल इन द श्रीनगर जिनके पास है एंड स्ट्रेट देखना श्रीनगर के इस पे कौन सी कौन सी मेजर सिटीज है एंड द क्वेश्चन कैन बी इफ आई ड्रॉ अ लाइन स्ट्रेट फ्रॉम श्रीनगर विच इज द सिटी दैट इज नियरेस्ट टू दैट लैटिट्यूड लैटिट्यूड विच इज पासिंग थ्रू द श्रीनगर विच इज द सिटी नियरेस्ट टू दैट कन्याकुमारी और थिरुअनंतपुरम Take a straight line and draw it from Srinagar to Thiruvananthapuram, and tell me whether Srinagar and Thiruvananthapuram lie in the same latitude, or more or less in the straight line. More or less in the straight line. So, ये prelims के लिए एक fact लिख लेना that is Srinagar and Thiruvananthapuram are in straight line. मतलब nearby, exactly, हाँ nearby, not exactly. नहीं एग्जैक्टली स्ट्रेट लाइन में नहीं है नियर बाय सेकेंडली देख अब वो स्केल दिल्ली पे रखना स्ट्रेट अगेन सो दिल्ली के ऊपर शिमला शिमला के नीचे भोपाल भोपाल के नीचे बैंगलोर ये सारे ए मोरल लेस स्ट्रेट लाइन में है देखा सो यू ड्रॉ स्केल एंड रिमेंबर दिस ऊपर से शिमला फिर दिल्ली दिल्ली के बाद भोपाल भोपाल के बाद बैंगलोर दिस आर दिन द स्ट्रेट लाइन मीन्स स्ट्रेट लाइन का मेरा कहना है एग्जैक्टली नॉट इन द स्ट्रेट लाइन बट वेरी नियर टू ईच अदर we get some kind of questions hyderabad is a bangalore delhi or bangalore hyderabad to dur hai tumhari line ha got it everyone kya hua got it everyone so shimla दिल्ली भोपाल एंड बैंगलोर आर मोर आर लेस वेरी नियर टू ईच अदर नाउ गो टू द नेक्स्ट सिटी कहां से जाता है आवर 82.3 डिग्री इंडियन स्टैंडर्ड टाइम नियर मिर्जापुर मिर्जापुर इज नियर विच सिटी अलाहाबाद नियर अलाहाबाद और प्रयागराज so now draw a line straight going through the Allahabad or Prayagraj and you will have to see क्या question पूछती है UPSC UPSC पूछेगी कि there is a latitude that is going through and the Indian standard time which of the following cities are very near to that so is there any city other than that which is very near to the straight line Raipur Dantewada इतना important नहीं है चेन्नई नहीं थोड़ा वो लखनऊ के पास थोड़ा है यस हाँ हाँ स्ट्रेट आएगा चेन्नई नहीं नहीं अलाहाबाद सो फाइन अगर कल क्वेश्चन आता है इज बैंगलोर नियर द लैटिट्यूड पासिंग थ्रू अलाहाबाद और नियर द इंडियन स्टैंडर्ड टाइम और चेन्नई व्हाट इज द आंसर टेक इट डाउन स्ट्रेट द आंसर इज चेन्नई करोगे ये सब घर पे जाके लिखोगे बार बार रिलेटिव आएगा ये क्वेश्चन सारे रिलेटिव आएंगे सो विच इज नियर टू द इंडियन स्टैंडर्ड टाइम डोंट कम टू द इंडियन जोग्राफी विदाउट स्केल विदाउट एटलस स्केल चाहिए हमें तीन चार लेक्चर के लिए और एटलस भी चाहिए 
तो गेटिंग इट बैंग हैदराबाद इज वेरी वेरी फार अवे जो इस साल क्वेश्चन क्या था आई गेस दिल्ली एंड बैंगलोर गेटिंग कल क्वेश्चन क्या आ सकता है अलाहाबाद एंड चेन्नई और अगर एग्जैक्टली exactly चेन्नई मैम के सबसे ज्यादा फॉलोअर्स कौन से स्टेट में तमिलनाडु में क्योंकि आप देखोगे लखनऊ और चेन्नई एक ही लाइन में है सो यू विल सी दैट इज द लखनऊ एंड चेन्नई एक ही लाइन में है मोरलेस दे आर इन द स्ट्रेट लाइन गेटिंग इट गेटिंग इट सो दिस आर द सम ऑफ द लॉन्ग लैटिट्यूडनल पॉइंट यू शुड रिमेंबर so shrinagar to kanyakumari is not the straight line what is shrinagar to tiruvananthapuram is a straight line getting then after that bangalore bhopal delhi and shimla is more or less nearby not exactly a straight line then after that lucknow chennai is near the straight line but agar koi question aata hai major city of peninsular india which is very near to the indian standard time latitude answer is chennai getting it fine everyone the next point you should note down is that the tropic of cancer tropic of cancer keep the atlas open the tropic of cancer divides india into two equal parts divides india into two equal parts divides india into two equal parts and the major states and the states through which the tropic of cancer pass the states through which the tropic of cancer pass dekho atlas mein kaun sa hai gujarat yes rajasthan yes mp yes chatisgarh jharkhand west bengal meghalaya mizoram Tripura, so take take down the states. Take down the the states. Gujarat, Gujarat, Rajasthan, Rajasthan se jata hai? Yes. yes, Rajasthan, मतलब जाता है Rajasthan थोड़ा सा या ज्यादा जाना चाहिए Then next is Madhya Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand. वेस्ट बंगाल त्रिपुरा त्रिपुरा एंड मिजोरम राइट मिजोरम भी है सो कैन आई से द नियरेस्ट सिटी द सिटी विच इज नियरेस्ट टू द ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैंसर इज उदयपुर राजस्थान वाली नहीं मिजोरम त्रिपुरा वाली त्रिपुरा में देखना Look in the political map of Tripura. Mila Udaipur. हाँ तो तो इंसुलेशन के ऊपर डिपेंड करेगा ना नियरेस्ट टू नियरेस्ट सिटी अगर स्पेसिफिकली पूछा सो कल अगर क्वेश्चन आता है विच इज द नियरेस्ट मेजर सिटी टू द ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैंसर द आंसर इज उदयपुर बट नॉट ऑफ राजस्थान द उदयपुर ऑफ त्रिपुरा गॉट एवरी वन द उदयपुर इन त्रिपुरा मिला त्रिपुरा इन उदयपुर उदयपुर इन त्रिपुरा हियर नाउ लेट अस लुक एट द कैपिटल्स ऑफ द स्टेट्स जहां से ये जाता है इज गांधीनगर नियर द ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैंसर यस इज भोपाल नियर द ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैंसर यस What is the capital of Chhattisgarh? Raipur is it near the Tropic of Cancer? No. Ranchi is very very near to the Tropic of Cancer. Ranchi, am I? If I guess, if you go to Ranchi, there is a monument there. That Tropic of Cancer is passing through here. Ranchi, is there anyone? Yes. 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 Yes.
Agartala, no. So the three capitals which are very near to the Tropic of Cancer is Gujarat ka capital. Uske baad? MP ka capital and uske baad? Jharkhand ka capital. Thoda upar. You see. You can consider as well also in that. You can consider as well also in that. Char. And can I say the famous ancient India ka monument, Sun Temple, say Tropic of Cancer Pass hota hai? Kaan pe Sun Temple? Note down. The famous sun temple of Orissa, of Gujarat, at Modera. Kitne sun temple in India? Ek nahi hai. Pichle saal ka hi question hai. Kitne sun temple in India? Mein? So, paanch sun temples in India. Mein. So, out of that, sun temple of Modera, Gujarat. Sun temple of Modera, Gujarat. has a distinction of Tropic of Cancer exactly over it. This is Sun Temple. Has the distinction of Tropic of Cancer exactly over it. Milegani Atlas. Modera. Gujarat, not Maharashtra. Gujarat. Fine. Tropic of Cancer. Ye Modera ka Sun Temple is important. Nahi padaya jayega kisi ko. Yes, but this is GK. GK based jo question aare, you have to find out. So you go home, write, find on Wikipedia and write two, three lines regarding the Modera ka Sun Temple. Fine? Next point. The area to the north of Tropic of Cancer. The area to the north of Tropic of Cancer, the area to the north of Tropic of Cancer, it is twice than the area, is twice than the area, is twice than the area to the south of Tropic of Cancer. Is twice than the area to the south of Tropic of Cancer. Remember this, area to the north is twice than the area to the south, area wise, which is north. So, majority of India, which is north of Tropic of Cancer, ke, are we in the temperate latitude? Tropics ke bahar matlab you are in temperate latitude. Therefore, we are having winter season in North India. So, kal agar question aata hai, why there, is, there are four different seasons in North India, then you will know that the answer is because it is to the north of Tropic of Cancer. But why we say India is a tropical nation then? In spite of area being to the north being twice than the area to the south, the reasons are numerous, which we'll do in other lecture. Fine? Next point. Peninsular Plateau. Peninsular Plateau. Peninsular Plateau. is among the oldest landmass in the world is among the oldest landmass in the world true or false yes, yes. gondwana so it is among the oldest landmass in the world which has not undergone submergence which has not undergone submergence since since pre cambrian era since pre-Cambrian era. Pre-Cambrian era is the time that it has not gone down to the sea. Maybe some part, western coast of India may have gone. But entire peninsular plateau has not gone submergence. Therefore, 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 it is one of the most stable landmass of the world. It is one of the most stable landmass of the world. Free from, free from 
tectonic disturbances free from tectonic disturbances free from tectonic disturbances So are there earthquakes and this in peninsular plateau? Ideally it should not be there, but recently Ajkal ho rahe hai. That is due to fault has been developed in the Bhima region. Wo hum geology ke samay karenge. Ab understand a simple time scale. We'll first do the physical time scale. So initially, Peninsular Plateau. Was a part of an Gondwana. Fine. Then it separated from Gondwana due to convectional currents. It separated as a part of Indo-Australian plate. I guess you will be able to relate all this. Then after separating it started travelling towards the North. It started traveling towards the north. As it started traveling towards the north, this came under the reunion hotspot. Which resulted into basalt fissure eruption we have all done this earlier also which has resulted into basalt fissure eruption resulting into formation of which part deccan lava plateau located on the western or eastern side of peninsular plateau western side of peninsular plateau so what i want you to remember ki deccan lava plateau or deccan plateau is different from peninsular plateau it is not same as peninsular plateau peninsular plateau ka ek part is deccan plateau then after that there was formation of collision with Eurasian plate which resulted into the formation of Himalayas and after the formation of Himalayas ultimately there was a formation of great plains and we got this present landform of India Then there were numerous kingdoms etc. Then the Britishers came and then ultimately we got freedom and this is how the political organization occurred. So during the Britishers, the states of India were divided into provinces and, and princely states. Provinces were directly ruled by, can I say, British administration and their unke chief the Viceroy. That is, voice of Her Majesty is Le Viceroy. So, provinces were under the British administration. Then, over the period of time, we got freedom. There was a demand for separate states. And ultimately, the first state that was formed was Andhra Pradesh in 1956. 53, the first linguistic state of India. 52 or 53? 53. The second state that was formed was Kerala. 56 se, 56 me, the Kerala. The third state that was formed was 56 mein kya konsa state form hua? Gujarat and Maharashtra. 
sorry, sorry, so, I'm sorry. 56 is this Kerala, the Gujarat and Maharashtra. After that, tell me. 66 से पहले कोई state? Which one was the which was the state? Nagaland. Which year? Nagaland in 63. I guess you have done this already. So Nagaland. उसके बाद Himachal Pradesh and सबसे पहले Haryana या Himachal Pradesh Haryana and the earlier the Union Territory of Himachal Pradesh and then the statehood to Himachal Pradesh 1966 after that don't worry about the UTs 1972 So 1972, which states? See, came 75. Manipur, Tripura, and Mizoram, Meghalaya. Meghalaya. Manipur, Tripura, and Meghalaya. 1920, 21st state of India. After that, Assam pehle tha. Sikkim. Ab, aaj hi iske baad go and revise Lakshmi Gan ka ye chapter. It will be easy for you to remember. Ki pehle as an associate state, isle amendment act, fir referendum, and then as a permanent state. So. कल UPSC देखो कैसे क्वेश्चन पूछेगी। Is there any state India has never done plebiscite before? So true or false? Yeah, India has never done referendum before. So, so this are the kind of the questions the, the UPSC may ask. You should have a basic idea. And then after Sikkim, nineteen eighty seven में Why Goa, Mizoram, eh? Arunachal, and Goa? Goa ko to UT idhar hi bana diya tha. And Goa, Mizoram, Arunachal, and Goa. Then in the year 2000, Charkhand, Chhattisgarh, and Uttarakhand. Tell me the order. Chhattisgarh, Uttarakhand, and Jharkhand. Uske baad, jisse start hua, usi ko we divided. So, the Aage, we don't know how many states will be created. So, this is the idea of political organization. This is an idea of physical organization. So, from pre-Cambrian era till here, future, iska future we know. That is how Himalayas banenge, there will be earthquakes. Uska future we don't know. So, this is how the, remember to do this also from the Lakshmi Gandhi. We won't find this in the geography books, but this is the, how the political organizations have occurred in India. And this is how the physical organization of the present India is. Getting it? Up with this background, open the atlas again. And tell me the states of India which are coastal states. How many states in India are coastal? Six. Gino Wahape? Nine states of India are coastal states. What are the coastal states? Start from Gujarat. Gujarat ke baad? Maharashtra. Uske baad? Goa. Uske baad? Karnataka. Kerala. 
तमिलनाडु आंध्र उड़ीसा एंड वेस्ट बंगाल तो और एक कौन सा हो गए नाइन स्टेट्स सो टेक डाउन द नाइन स्टेट्स इन इंडिया द नाइन स्टेट्स इन इंडिया आर कोस्टल स्टेट्स नाइन स्टेट्स इन इंडिया आर कोस्टल स्टेट्स आर कोस्टल स्टेट्स इंडिया हैज अ कोस्ट लाइन ऑफ कितना किलोमीटर्स सेवन फाइव वन सिक्स किलोमीटर्स ट्रू और फॉल्स इंडिया हैज अ कोस्ट लाइन ऑफ सेवन फाइव वन सिक्स किलोमीटर्स डोंट राइट एनीथिंग इंक्लूडिंग अंदमान निकोबार एक्सक्लूडिंग अंदमान निकोबार यहां पे हम फंसते हैं सबको पता है सेवन फाइव वन सिक्स इंक्लूडिंग एक्सक्लूडिंग सो टेक डाउन नाउ इंडिया हैज एन कोस्ट लाइन ऑफ सेवन फाइव वन सिक्स किलोमीटर्स विच इंक्लूड द यूनियन टेरिटरीज ऑफ अंदमान निकोबार एंड लक्षद्वीप which includes the union territories of andaman nicobar and lakshadweep while while the coastline the coastline of mainland india is the coastline of mainland india is kitna somewhere around 5000 6000 फाइंड आउट दैट इज योर होमवर्क थोड़ा खुद भी काम करो फाइन एंड द फॉलोइंग स्टेट्स तो फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स करो फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स करोगे ढूंढोगे खुद लिख पाओगे नहीं तो मैं कल बता दूंगा बर खुद ढूंढो इट इज समेर अराउंड सिक्स थाउजेंड नॉट फाइव थाउजेंड सो नेक्स्ट and the following states are ranked in the order of coastline so matlab we have to do the which of the state is having the longest coastline so tell me option the following state in india has the longest coastline tamil nadu andhra gujarat so sabse pehle gujarat gujarat has the longest coastline gujarat has the longest coastline गुजरात सेकंड नंबर बताओ आप आंध्र प्रदेश तेलंगाना के बाद कोस्ट लाइन अफेक्ट हुआ आंध्र का नो वाई इनलैंड स्टेट थर्ड अब थर्ड पे थर्ड पे तमिलनाडु थर्ड पे तमिलनाडु थर्ड पे तमिलनाडु फोर्थ पे महाराष्ट्र Do all these nine states in an order. Now he states in India, me, which one coast is, so you should know their order. Maharashtra, fifth, Kerala, fifth Kerala, sixth, Orissa, seventh, Karnataka, seventh Karnataka, eighth, West Bengal. West Bengal is bigger than Goa. वेस्ट बंगाल नाइन्थ गोवा नाइन्थ गोवा अब वन स्मॉल होमवर्क फॉर यू इज द कोस्ट लाइन ऑफ अंदमान निकोबार इज ग्रेटर और द कोस्ट लाइन ऑफ गुजरात इज ग्रेटर लॉजिकली अंदमान एंड निकोबार सो डोंट रीड ऑफ रिमेंबरिंग द डेटा सिर्फ इतना याद रखना द अंदमान एंड निकोबार हैज अ बिगर कोस्ट लाइन देन गुजरात गुजरात की सम 1200 सौ किलोमीटर है एंड अंदमान निकोबार की उन्नीस सौ किलोमीटर के आसपास है कोस्ट लाइन फाइन विद दिस नाउ वॉट इज द सरप्राइजिंग थिंग यू नो यू केम टू नो हियर दैट इज वेरी अंडरस्टूड की गुजरात एंड एपी विल बी द टू स्टेट सी थर्ड पे तमिलनाडु है एंड फोर्थ पे महाराष्ट्र है एटलस में देख के ऐसा लगता है महाराष्ट्र का कोस्ट लाइन शुड बी ग्रेटर देन दैट ऑफ तमिलनाडु सो द थर्ड पे तमिलनाडु है यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस वेरी प्रॉपरली देन द वन सरप्राइजिंग थिंग वी कैन सी हियर इज की द केरला का कोस्ट लाइन इज ग्रेटर देन दैट ऑफ उड़ीसा एंड वेस्ट बंगाल नहीं तो अभी कैसे लगेगा वेस्ट बंगाल सुंदरबंस 
so the coastline will be very very big no kerala ka coastline is greater than orissa karnataka and west bengal so west bengal is the second smallest state in the terms of coastline and baki is the obviously goa is there now it is very very logical because major part of sundarbans is in bangladesh why kerala ka coastline is longer because kerala ka coastline is highly indented indented means straight nahi hai andar jata hai bahar aata hai and as a result of this it is highly indented fine with this next point identify the states which do not have international border neither a coast so kon kitne states hai india mein which does not have international border neither have a coastline dekho kahan pe dhoondoge delhi you will not consider delhi as a part of that madhya pradesh chatisgarh झारखंड बिहार ऊपर है नॉर्थ में नेपाल देन तेलंगाना उड़ीसा कोस्ट लाइन है हरियाणा सो यू कैन टेक डाउन एक्सेप्ट फॉर मध्य प्रदेश एक्सेप्ट फॉर मध्य प्रदेश छत्तीसगढ़ झारखंड झारखंड हरियाणा हरियाणा तेलंगाना तेलंगाना एंड दिल्ली एंड दिल्ली द अदर स्टेट्स ऑफ इंडिया आर नोन एज द अदर स्टेट्स ऑफ इंडिया आर नोन एज फ्रंट लाइन स्टेट्स द अदर स्टेट्स ऑफ इंडिया आर नोन एज फ्रंट लाइन स्टेट्स what do you mean by front line states they have international border as well as the coast so we have written chatisgarh yes sir we have written chatisgarh madhya pradesh chatisgarh jharkhand haryana delhi and telangana baki ke states are the front line states chandigarh we will not consider because it is ut proper ut delhi aadha ut hai aadha state hai इसलिए द दिल्ली हैज कम इन दिस सो वॉट आर दू आर द नेबर्स ऑफ इंडिया बांग्लादेश उसके बाद मे बी चाइना है कि नहीं थर्ड पाकिस्तान फोर्थ नेपाल फिफ्थ म्यांमार सिक्स अफगानिस्तान सेवेंथ भूटान एट श्रीलंका नाइन्थ मालदीव्स fine now you understand this two are not considered as a our land neighbors they are maritime neighbors and this are known as the jiske borders touch of in the borders of india touch here so you can take down some of the statements here indonesia is not a maritime बहुत ही फार फेस्ट हो जाएगा फिर वो साउथ ईस्ट एशिया हो जाता है अलग ही जोग्राफिकल रीजन है सो यू कैन टेक डाउन डोंट राइट दिस सो सो यू कैन टेक डाउन इंडिया हैज इंडिया टचेस द द इंडिया हैज बॉर्डर्स विद द फॉलोइंग कंट्रीज इंडिया हैज बॉर्डर्स विद द फॉलोइंग कंट्रीज सबसे ज्यादा बॉर्डर किसके साथ है बांग्लादेश फर्स्ट बांग्लादेश सेकंड चाइना सेकंड चाइना दिस इज द ऑर्डर ऑफ हाउ वी आर हैविंग द बॉर्डर्स थर्ड पाकिस्तान थर्ड पाकिस्तान 
फोर्थ नेपाल फिफ्थ म्यांमार सिक्स्थ भूटान भूटान एंड सेवेंथ सेवेंथ अफगानिस्तान बांग्लादेश चाइना पाकिस्तान नेपाल म्यांमार भूटान एंड अफगानिस्तान फाइन दिज आर आवर लैंड नेबर्स रिमेंबर अफगानिस्तान ऑफिशियली इज आवर लैंड नेबर अनऑफिशियली वी डू नॉट टच अफगानिस्तान बट ऑफिशियली वी आर टचिंग अफगानिस्तान ठीक है अनऑफिशियली नहीं करते हम वो हमारे पास है ही नहीं वो एरिया पीओके के पास है इसलिए मैंने कहा ऑफिशियली वाइल आवर मरी टाइम नेबर्स वाइल आवर मरी टाइम नेबर्स वरी टाइम नेबर्स इज आर श्रीलंका श्रीलंका सेपरेटेड बाय विथ स्ट्रीट पार्क स्ट्रीट सेपरेटेड बाय पार्क स्ट्रीट एंड द गल्फ ऑफ मन्नार रीजन एंड मालदीव्स सेपरेटेड बाय एट डिग्री चैनल सेपरेटेड बाय एट डिग्री चैनल वॉट इज वंदे मात्रम कोई नया नाम है इसका एट डिग्री चैनल का नहीं ना द एट डिग्री चैनल फाइन नेक्स्ट पॉइंट एट डिग्री चैनल नाइन डिग्री चैनल एंड टेन डिग्री चैनल दिज आर थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट चैनल्स टेन डिग्री चैनल इज इन अंदमान निकोबार सेपरेट अंदमान फ्रॉम निकोबार ग्रुप नाइन डिग्री चैनल इन लक्षद्वीप सेपरेट द स्मॉलर लक्षद्वीप आईलैंड फ्रॉम द लार्जर आईलैंड एंड उसके बाद मिनिकॉय के बाद वी हैव द एट डिग्री चैनल विथ सेपरेट मालदीव फ्रॉम द द इंडिया लक्षद्वीप नेक्स्ट पॉइंट द कोकोज आईलैंड सीओ सीओ एस कोकोज आईलैंड कोकोज आईलैंड ऑफ विच कंट्री म्यांमार द कोकोज आईलैंड ऑफ म्यांमार सीओ सीओ एस कोकोज आईलैंड ऑफ म्यांमार सेपरेट 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 द सेपरेट sorry no no sorry the cocos island on of myanmar and the north andaman island 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 is separated is separated by cocos channel by cocos channel or coco channel c o c o coco channel So, ये सब मैप में हमें करना है कोको चैनल कौन से स्टेट्स कहाँ पे है किस पॉइंट के पास है सो विल डू दिस वाइल डूइंग द अंदमान एंड निकोबार आइलैंड्स नाउ फर्स्ट सो कैन यू टेल मी विथ स्टेट्स ऑफ इंडिया टच बांग्लादेश विच इज द स्टेट वेस्ट बेंगाल डस सिक्किम टच वाई विच इज दिस पार्ट वेस्ट बेंगाल देन दिस इज आसाम दिस इज मेघालय दिस इज त्रिपुरा डोंट ड्रॉ दिस ओपन द एटलस सो सो टेल मी वॉट आर द स्टेट दैट टच द बांग्लादेश वेस्ट बेंगाल सिक्किम नो झारखंड सो वेस्ट बेंगाल ऊपर का भी वेस्ट बेंगाल विच पार्ट ऑफ वेस्ट बेंगाल दार्जिलिंग देन आफ्टर दैट आसाम देन आफ्टर दैट मेघालय मेघालय के बाद त्रिपुरा एंड देन वी हैव मिजोरम 
getting it so note down this note down this the states that touch bangladesh are west bengal west bengal mizoram mizoram meghalaya tripura assam west bengal meghalaya west bengal mizoram meghalaya tripura assam fine with this next tell me whether it is a man made boundary or a natural boundary the boundary between india and bangladesh is radcliffe line it is an example of an superimposed that is the man made boundary it is an example of a superimposed boundary man made boundary zabardasti banayi gayi fine what is the natural condition this is a boundary formed by by can i say distributaries formed by distributaries and delta of ganga brahmaputra and barak ganga brahmaputra and barak what is this barak barak is a small river that originates in in the manipur passes through most of the states of northeast except arunachal pradesh and then enters the bangladesh when it joins ganga jamuna it is known as an uske baad the line is it is known as a meghna fine with this can i because it is delta see understand paper 1 say relate karo can i say it is famous for shifting of river courses can i say this boundary is highly irregular देखो करंट से इसको ऐसे जोड़ो दट इज हाईली इरेगुलर वाई इट इज हाईली इरेगुलर बिकॉज इफ यू लुक अब तो हम डायग्राम जब बनाते हैं इट लुक्स लाइक अ स्ट्रेट लाइन बट इन रियालिटी दिस बाउंड्री लाइन इज सो इरेगुलर दैट वी हैव डन दिस एंड यू मे हैव डन दिस सम पार्ट ऑफ बांग्लादेश वॉज सराउंडेड बाय इंडिया एंड सम पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया was surrounded by bangladesh the boundary line was so irregular for example if we consider this as a boundary of bangladesh and this part as india so ye bangladesh went deep inside india and this is was somewhat of bangladesh so the surrounding land was india and beech mein tha bangladesh and the same can be for india the surrounding land this narrow land was india but it was surrounded from all sides by bangladesh and therefore what we did exchange of enclaves or enclosures that is jo bangladesh ka territory which was surrounded by india was given to india and the people were asked and the india ka territory which was surrounded by bangladesh was given to bangladesh by which act by constitutional 100th amendment act by constitutional 100 amendment act fine with this baki aap polity mein karoge if it is in the news if it is not in the news this issue is gone but you should know 100 amendment act so 100th 99th kiske upar hai and 101st GST 101st is for GST 99th is for National Judicial Appointment Commission 100th is for Indo Bangladesh Exchange of enclaves Fine 
अब वेन यू डू दिस पार्ट ऑफ जोग्राफी या कोई भी सब्जेक्ट आज क्यूर सेल्फ की हमने कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में पढ़ा है कि द फॉर द फॉर्मुलेशन ऑफ टेरिटरी और फॉर एनी यू डू नॉट रिक्वायर अमेंडमेंट सो यहाँ पे अमेंडमेंट क्यों लगा फॉर गोइंग इन टू इन दी इंटरनेशनल एग्रीमेंट फॉर एग्रीमेंट डिस्प्यूट पॉलिटी में लिखा है कि यू डू नॉट रिक्वायर एनी काइंड ऑफ एन अमेंडमेंट सो यहाँ पे क्यों अमेंडमेंट की जरूरत पड़ी बिकॉज दिस वॉज सिसन ऑफ अ टेरिटरी वॉज यू आर गिविंग सम टेरिटरी ऑफ इंडिया टू बांग्लादेश एंड देयर फॉर इट रिक्वायर्ड एन अमेंडमेंट एक्ट फाइन द सेकेंड इश्यू this issue has been resolved very amicably so this has been dispute has been solved the second dispute which has yet to be solved is tista so what is this tista river dispute that is a polity ir what is tista river where does it originate it originates in sikkim it is a tributary of which river गंगा या ब्रह्मपुत्र या इंडिपेंडेंट रिवर तीस्ता इज अ ट्रिब्यूटरी ऑफ ब्रह्मपुत्र एंड इट जॉइंस ब्रह्मपुत्र इन इंडिया और इन बांग्लादेश जॉइंस ब्रह्मपुत्र इन बांग्लादेश and the problem is over tista jo mai hum rivers mein karenge is a dam which is known as rangit dam on the small tributary of river rangit which is unknown as tista ki rangita another tributary hai so uske upar jo hydroelectric power project hai for that there is a fall in the water level and therefore the dispute is increasing the third problem is you already know this now nrc so i am not going into this the fourth problem is india stand on rohingyas so this all will be uh, different parts of that and the fifth and the most important part which becomes a security threat is the siliguri corridor so what is this chicken snake corridor it is an connecting link between between north east india and mainland india second it is a narrow region very narrow region surrounded by by china on the north and east pakistan or bangladesh in the south and therefore it has some security threat नेपाल से मैं जानबूझ के नेपाल नहीं ले रहा हूँ वैसे तो भूटान भी नज़दीक है बट इनसे हमें सिक्योरिटी थ्रेट नहीं है इतना सो आई गेस यू हैव सीन द सिलीगुरी कॉरिडोर सो विच इज द सिलीगुरी कॉरिडोर शो मी दैट लेस this part which is a very narrow region which is the only connecting link between the mainland india and the north east india is the siliguri corridor getting it and you can see is ke ek side mein nepal hai we don't have much security threat till the time nepal is with us with us bhutan hai but more problem is china dokla issue dokla issue yaad karo link karo isse that if in china comes to doklam it is very near to the siliguri corridor and once it comes to the siliguri corridor it can connect it can cancel the the connection between india india and it can stop this secondly bangladesh more illegal migrants from bangladesh has a demographic consequences on the north east and the entire india but more importantly it becomes a security threat in this region getting this everyone the siliguri corridor issue now you note down there which national highway passes through the siliguri corridor 
एन एच थर्टी वन ए पासिस थ्रू द सिलीगुरी कॉरिडोर डोंट गो बाय द न्यू नेम्स ऑफ नेशनल हाईवे फॉलो द ओल्ड नेम्स विच आर गिवन इन एनसीआर टी इन द एटलस वैसे इन सारा द एटलस का इन सारा नेशनल हाईवे का नेम्स है रिमेंबर एन एच थर्टी वन ए पासिस थ्रू द सिलीगुरी कॉरिडोर नेशनल हाईवे थर्टी वन ए पासिस थ्रू द सिलीगुरी कॉरिडोर Any other issue here? No. Sagar Island or वो सब नू मुरे islands में देखेंगे हम किस में Yes, Bhutan भी आएगा Nepal भी आएगा बट मैं हम लिखेंगे नहीं उसको मैं आई एम डूइंग जोग्राफिकल इश्यूज ओनली आई कैन ड्रॉ दिस डायग्राम So Indo-China border, it is divided into three parts: Western sector, Middle sector, and the Eastern sector. What is the name of Western sector? The Western sector is known as line of actual control. Actually, then we have this as a boundary between India and China, and this is known as a line of actual control. The Eastern sector is known as Mac Mohan line. Eastern sector is known as MacMahon Line. I guess I have told you also what was the issue much earlier. Aksai Chin me and this thing. Us din Manishankar Ayer ne bhi bata diya kya tha issue. So, नहीं वो that वो सच था. हाँ partial सच. वो तो थोड़ी बढ़ेगी अपने इसके लिए फाइन विद दिस नाउ यू कैन टेल मी विच ऑफ देम इज द डिस्प्यूटेड एरिया वेस्टर्न सेक्टर ईस्टर्न सेक्टर मिडल सेक्टर वेस्ट एंड ईस्ट मिडल में कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है क्योंकि नेपाल और भूटान है बीच में अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस नेपाल है इसलिए देर इज नो प्रॉब्लम इन द मिडल सेक्टर नाउ विल फर्स्ट लुक एट द जोग्राफिकल पॉइंट दिस पार्ट ऑफ दिस इज वॉट इज नोन एज एन अक्साई चीन It is known as an Aksai Chin region. Usme some part of it of Aksai Chin has been given to China by Pakistan. Fine. There is one important wetland, Ramsar wetland, which is common between India and China, and therefore, dono ke Ramsar treaties mein naam nahi hai because this is a Ramsar site which is of international importance, but. not any of national wetland it is common between india and china and this is pangong so lake right the pangong so lake is located between india and china here then this region is what is known as kala pani region 
this region is known as an Kalapani region, which is located, is the blue color visible, Piche? Which is located at a tri-junction of of India, Nepal, and China. India, Nepal, and China. Why it is famous? It is famous for root of annual Mansarovar Yatra ya pilgrimage. The Kalapani region. We'll look at the past later on, which is located in the Kalapani region. Can I continue? So this region is the region of Nathula Pass in Sikkim. This is the region of Nathula Pass in Sikkim. Nathula Pass in Sikkim. Why it is important? An important trade route between India and China. Is it used for Mansarwar Yatra? Ideally, nahi. It should have been used, but for say Dokla issue ke baad, it has been closed. So remember it as an trade route of India and China. And this region which I am marking now between India, China and Bhutan is what is Dokla Plateau region. Is what is the Dokla Plateau region. A tri junction of India, Bhutan, and China. So, which state of India? Sikkim. And the Dokla Plateau, say you have come very near to. Tawang. Which state is Tawang? Arunachal Pradesh. Q famous hai Tawang? Monastery, Buddhist monastery. So China ko kyu chahiye Buddhist monastery? Because it is the one of the richest Buddhist monastery jahan se political decisions hote hai. So, so now open the map of Arunachal Pradesh and mark Tawang. I guess we have marked Tawana earlier. You will see Tawang here at the top in Arunachal Pradesh. Mila Tawang. Everyone Tawang? Map ni lai. So, you see there is a Tawang. Tawang ki niche you will see one Bomdila. One place known as Bomdila. Can someone tell me why Bomdila is important? Because Bomdila is an important pass in Middle Himalayas, Great Himalayas, Lesser Himalayas. In the Great Himalayas. So, abhi kuch mat likhna, sif dekhna Bomdila ka hai. Kal jab hum Himalayas ke passes karenge, to you should know Bomdila, Jelipla, Nathula, the Thangla. The, the, there are numerous such passes, Nitila, Manala, Lipule. So, all these passes which are there in the Great Himalayas. Or dusra, the passes in the Middle Himalayas, ye kal ke lecture mein aayenge, the different types of passes that are present. But fine with this. Indo-China issue. Now what is the problem in Dokla Plateau? Is it a part of India? Is it a part of Bhutan? 
or is it a no man's land it is it is a no man's land which has been left there is no chinese invasion there is no bhutan aisa thodi hai ki china went into bhutan and captured bhutan but it had a security implications to bhutan remember it is a no man's land it is not it is an international agreement ki ek samjhota hai ki na hum aayenge dokla mein neither bhutan neither india will come in dokla fine with this so the is the first issue in indo china is the eastern sector is disputed is disputed but has it been taken over by china any part of the eastern sector no not a single territory in the eastern sector has been occupied by china and they go they have gone back so who was responsible for this line the this so can i say in the eastern sector china does not agree with the british agreement between india and china they want us to renegotiate second the dokla issue which is building up now due to proximity to chicken snack and indo bhutan friendship agreement third western sector western sector can i say illegally occupied by china it is illegally occupied by china and the de facto line line is known as line of actual control it is not the ex- boundary it is an de facto line that is present between india and china so this is the line of actual control somewhere here fine with this what is aksai chin occupied by china ya yeah, illegally given to china by pakistan by pakistan so one more statement you write it includes it includes 5200 square kilometers of indian territory 5200 meters of indian territory 5200 square kilometers of indian territory illegally given to china by pakistan illegally given to china by pakistan जोग्राफिकल पॉइंट देर नेक्स्ट पॉइंट वहां पे जोग्राफी का दिस रीजन इज दिस रीजन इज दिस रीजन इज हाईली डाइसेक्टेड हाईली डाइसेक्टेड एंड हाईली इरोडेड प्लाटू प्लाटू विच इज डिवाइडेड इन टू which is divided into numerous plains which is divided into numerous 
planes which is divided into numerous planes and covered by saline lakes and covered by saline lakes covered by saline lakes saline lakes comma drained by drained by drained by river shok drained by river shok drained d r a i n e d drained by river shok open the atlas ड्रेन्ड क्या हुआ ये लिखा नहीं था अभी बाद में लिख लेना फिर सो यू विल सी इन द एटलस समथिंग नीटन एस सोडा प्लेन्स मिला Open the map of Jammu Kashmir. Open the map of Jammu Kashmir. Three planes here are important. I guess you are following this. One is the Devsang Plains. Did you get the Devsang Plains? दूसरा है सोडा प्लेन्स मिला सोडा प्लेन्स एंड तीसरा है लिंग लिंगी तांग प्लेन्स देर आर थ्री प्लेन्स दैट आर लोकेटेड सो मिला दिस नाउ व्हाट कैन बी द क्वेश्चन हियर क्वेश्चन कैन बी दिस प्लेन्स आर पार्ट ऑफ व्हाट दिस इज अक्साई चीन सेकेंड is this plains a part of himalayas no this is a part of tibetan plateau that is the before the himalayas they existed much prior to the himalayas third what is the geography of that region ki they are flat region ya bahut tuta hua region hai so they are highly dissected bahut sari rivers hai wahan pe which have cut this plains and fourth they are covered by saline lakes jo humne likha ek ek point they are highly dissected कवर्ड बाय सलाइन लेक्स फाइन सो तीन प्लेन्स है यहां पे यूपीएससी जनरली पूछता है सोडा प्लेन्स आर लोकेटेड इन विथ स्टेट ऑफ इंडिया सो द आंसर इज द जम्मू एंड कश्मीर अनऑफिशियली दिस इज नॉट अ पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया दिस इज विथ चाइना राइट नाउ फाइन नाउ नेक्स्ट पॉइंट टेल मी फ्रॉम द एटलस डोंट राइट एनीथिंग कैन आई से सो मोरी लेक इज लोकेटेड इन दिस प्लेन ट्रू और फॉल्स फॉल्स सो मोरी लेक बहुत नीचे है या ऊपर है नीचे है सो मोरी इज वेरी यू विल नॉट गेट एनीथिंग इन दिस एटलस यूल हैव टू ब्रिंग So have you marked Pangong so? And then we have here what is so Moriri. Freshwater lakes, saline lakes. What does this Pangong so and so Moriri? Freshwater lakes or saline lakes? They are saline lakes. They are saline lakes. China. Yes. So I guess you already know the story. This if China wanted this because China, then they decided that there has to be a energy security which comes from Central Asia, not from this part. Plus, China's upper part is dominated by Islam. 
minority. This part is dominated by Tibet, minority. China does not believe in diversity. China ke liye ek hi China hai, that is the, that is not Akhan China, that is Han China. That is the Han China, that does not believe in the minority. Diversity encourage nahi karte. So they want by force to convert the non-Han people to Han. So non-Han people kya hai? Ek to Tibet. That is Buddhist. And upar kya hai? Islam. You get your region of Islam. So the China had requested to India to give access to this part. So that they can build a highway from here, railway from here, so that they can properly mobilize the troops in the case there is any kind of a problem, yeah, any kind of a secession from this part. Because in un logo ko Mongolia ko join hona hai. Mongolia is also Islamic country. Genetically also they are more nearer to the Mongols. Understanding and economically also they are dependent on Mongols. Dekho, imagine a country is located here and kahi to Shanghai hai. Will there be any political or economic or emotional connect between this naam ke liye ye chinese hai understanding this so as a result of this but and he the china said that no because the indian politics may we did not understand that time the practicality of the issue china was saying give us this and china ne ek hum nahi dene wale the isliye china said that we will uh, even they claimed arunachal i say china had no real interest in arunachal but they had interest in this part so that they can mobilize the troops and take it here. But politics itna zada ho gaya and we did not agree to that. So, so you know the story also of famous that is the Jawaharlal Nehru proposed that nothing grows in this area. I had told this you in the first lecture also so we should give this land to China and then the famous parliamentary the famous MP took his cap and said nothing grows on my head so should we the, give the head to China also. So that resulted into that resulted into the collapse of the talks. So just the collapse of the talks happened, China came and occupied majority of Arunachal. China came and occupied this territory. But after three days, they went back from Arunachal and they never went back from here. So this will be the future India. That is the line of actual control. Chahe, India ka part hum officially keh rahe, but there will come a day then when we will have to give back this to China and have a peaceful border. That is, this is give this to China and China is not majorly interested in other part. Why it is interested in this part? See, this is a plateau, dissected, matlab kuch grow nahi ho sakta yaha pe. It is extremely cold. The only reason is mobilization of troops between the Tibetan plant that is the this Tibet region to Yugikir region. So what is this Yugikir region? Islam dominated region of China. Aage future mein with the coming up of CPAC, one belt, one road etc. And with the opening up of Arctic, understand? With the opening up of Arctic, with the due to climate change, Arctic Ocean is opening up. Now with the opening up of Arctic, Rather than depending upon Iran, Iraq, West Asia, because there is so much political turmoil, hai, the untapped potential of Central Asia rich countries will come to the China. China will directly have a pipeline because Russia is good with it. Fine. It will directly have a pipeline and come to China. And China and in India ka energy requirements are very, very high. India also knows that Arctic has very high potential because Arctic Ocean is rich in continental shelf. It is extremely rich in petroleum. It is extremely rich in gas hydrates. Kal humne laboratory mein pehli bar gas hydrates banai. Kal ka newspaper. Fine. Methane hydrates and the carbon dioxide hydrates. These are the source of clean energy and it is extremely rich in Arctic. And this Arctic countries originally are known as Denmark Nordic countries. Q Nordic countries because they were under Denmark. Denmark was the king. So Denmark se sab alag hue. They have their own countries, Norway, Sweden, Finland, etc. But aaj bhi Greenland is with Denmark. So India is increasing in engagement with the Nordic nations. And you can see this ki pichle saal India ne their India set up an India Nordic Council. There was a new council which was set up by the Prime Minister of India when he went to Sweden and Norway last year. India Nordic Council and aapko mains mein question aaya that is India's interest in Arctic. This year 
वही रिलेशन आगे जाके कल नॉर्वे की प्राइम मिनिस्टर इज इन इंडिया एंड दे विल गो एंड साइन मेनी ऑफ द the agreements we require nordic countries because nordic countries have very very high technology of waste to clean energy sustainable development ka that is if you go to norway and sweden you will see they regenerate each and every waste including water that water is regenerated jo bhi grey water hai so there is something going on in india known as grey water management and agar aapko lagta hai ki wo water acha nahi hai to aapko pani pee ke bhi dikhate hai ki dekho this is was a earlier a waste water we have converted into clean water and we use it for drinking so india wants the waste to energy for solid waste management in india understanding and therefore we are having this nordic nations secondly india wants nordic nations ka investment because they are very rich countries unke paas paisa bahut hai but trade nahi hai so these countries are mostly engaging in pension funds so as we are opening up our economy the government will withdraw from social security schemes and open it to market and they will generally give it it will be taken up by nordic countries theek अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड दो दिज आर पॉलिटिकली डिफरेंट एंटाइटीज ये बिना एक दूसरे के पूछे काम नहीं करते दैट इज डेनमार्क नॉर्वे स्वीडन फिनलैंड इनका डिसीजन आर सेम बिकॉज दे लुक एट द एरिया सो अंडरस्टैंड द नॉर्वे का प्राइम मिनिस्टर वाई शी इज कमिंग टू इंडिया अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस सॉलिड अर्बन वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट सो दिस क्योंकि इंडिया में फ्यूचर में द एनर्जी विल कम फ्रॉम सेंट्रल एशिया इंडिया ऑलरेडी हैज अ गुड रिलेशनशिप विद रशिया सो दिस विल बिकम अ मेजर ट्रेड रूट बट फॉर दैट इंडिया हैज टू टेक द बॉर्डर बट द रियलिटी इज कैन आर ऑफ दिस पार्ट इंडिया इज नॉट एन एनर्जी सरप्लस वे गलत देते हाउ कैन वी बी एनर्जी सरप्लस जब हम मोस्ट ऑफ द पेट्रोलियम इंपोर्ट करते हैं जब एडिटोरियल में जो लिखा है इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सरप्लस बट इवन दैट इज रॉन्ग हाउ यू शुड आस्क हाउ वी आर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सरप्लस जब गांव में आठ आठ बजले लोड शेडिंग होती है आठ आठ घंटे लोड शेडिंग होती है एडिटोरियल में फिर तीन चार दिन बाद एराटा आ जाएगा कि दिस वॉज रॉन्ग वी आर नॉट एनर्जी सरप्लस वी आर एनर्जी डेफिसिट नेशन एंड आवर रिक्वायरमेंट इज वेरी हाई अंडरस्टूड दिस अब यहां से हमारा बेस्ट फ्रेंड शुरू हो जाता है दैट इज पाकिस्तान सो दिस इज हाउ एक्चुअली द इंडिया इज वी डोंट हैव दिस पार्ट वी डोंट हैव दिस पार्ट एंड दिस हाउ द इंडिया इज सो द थर्ड इज mountains so indo pakistan boundary is one such boundary that has marshy regions of kutch the sand dunes here of deserts the most fertile plains in the world that is the great plains india ka punjab and pakistan ka punjab and then the mountainous region ultimately culminating at सियाचिन ग्लेशियर अल्टीमेटली कनलिंग एट द सियाचिन ग्लेशियर लोकेटेड इन ग्रेट हिमालयास या ट्रांस हिमालयास ट्रांस हिमालयास
in the trans Himalayas. नहीं नंगा पर्वत हमारे नंगा पर्वत पीओ के में नाम के लिए इंडिया में है नंगा पर्वत इज इन पीओ के वट इज द ऑफिशियली द हाइस्ट पीक ऑफ इंडिया के टू कहाँ पे है पीओ के में अनऑफिशियली द हाइस्ट पीक ऑफ इंडिया इज कंचनजंगा दैट इज द सेकेंड हाइस्ट पीक ऑफ इंडिया जो इंडिया एंड नेपाल के बीच है Should I draw a bigger map? So can I continue? Can I continue? नेपाल के साथ भी चाइना के साथ भी चल रहा है बिकॉज शारदा रिवर जो आती है उसके ऊपर डिस्प्यूट है सो कैन कंटिन्यू नाउ सो यू कैन टेक डाउन इंडो पाकिस्तान बाउंड्री 
passes through different geographical regions passes through different geographical regions from the marshy lands of kutch from the marshy lands of kutch from the marshy lands of kutch to the shifting sand dunes shifting sand dunes isse pata lagta hai western part of rajasthan is sandy isliye main likha raha hu ye shifting sand dunes of of thar desert of thar desert through the great plains of punjab through the great plains of punjab and the mountains of kashmir natural hai superimposed hai it is superimposed through the mountains of kashmir it is a superimposed boundary known as known as radcliffe line pakistan ki bhi bangladesh ki bhi radcliffe line and pakistan ki bhi radcliffe line can someone tell me why because bangladesh was east pakistan earlier so indo pak boundary is the radcliffe line the radcliffe line so dispute number 1 dispute number 1 kashmir dispute dispute number 2 kashmir yahan pe le leke geography mein fayda bhi nahi hai kuch dispute number 2 siachen glacier siachen glacier siachen glacier अब अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज दिया चिन ग्लेशियर सिया चेन इज द कैन आई से हाइएस्ट बैटल फील्ड इन द वर्ल्ड इन द वर्ल्ड कैन आई से इट इज ऑल्सो द लॉन्गेस्ट ग्लेशियर आउटसाइड पोलार रीजन्स fine so can we use some current ka word in in third pole longest longest 75 kilometers it is the longest glacier outside the polars so jo jo glaciers hai outside the polar regions you call them as third pole hmm it is the highest battlefield in the world height world it is the highest battlefield in the world what is the height it was occupied by india by operation meg dut बहुत सिंपल है हाईएस्ट है तो हाई क्लाउड्स है क्लाउड्स का नाम इज मेघ दूत सो बाय द ऑपरेशन मेघ दूत 1980 487 मैं भी भूल गया ढूंढो सो एटी फोर नाइनटीन एटी फोर आई विल टेल यू टुमारो ऑपरेशन मेघ दूत it is the source of origin of which river siachen se kaun si river originate hoti hai origin of river nubra it is the source of origin of river nubra so which river lies in the siachen glacier region it is the river nubra nubra joins shok and shok joins that is there is a tributary of indus joins indus nubra 
north of Siachen. is Indira Kohl. It is the northern most point of India. Northern most point of India. Is the Indira Kohl. Just CHN Glacier ke upar yaha pe is the Indira Kohl, which is the northernmost point of Indian Union. Still under India. Why Indira Kohl? Because the Operation Meghdoot Indira Gandhi ne kiya tha, and therefore, usse pehle this part was not with us. CHN Glacier mein winter temperature goes to minus 48, minus 49 degrees Celsius. It is extremely cold. winds in the valley. So in this region, you should know why it is the highest battlefield in the world, because it is occupied by India. Agar India so now what is the dispute? Pakistan and China are calling for demilitary, that is no military in the Siachen Glacier region. So the answer is should we do or should we not do? Why? Because Siachen Glacier is responsible for the largest number of deaths in the world without battle. That is people there die just by cold temperature. So Indian Army requires some around 7 crores a day to maintain a soldier in the Siachen Glacier region. 7 crores a day to maintain a soldier in the Siachen Glacier region. Because the Siachen Glacier, this is Siachen Glacier, this gives an eagle's eye view of Pakistan and China as well as the <coughs> India. So it is the highest battlefield. But there was earlier, there was an understanding between China, Pakistan and India, especially between India and Pakistan that during the winters all the armies used to go back and Indian army used to come down. Because sustaining life there in the winters is impossible. Summers may be minus 20, minus 30. Hai. The winters may it is not possible to sustain there. But when Indian army came back, what happened? Kargil. Why Kargil? Because Kargil say they wanted to take over the highway connecting Srinagar to or Kashmir to Ladakh region. So they occupied this highway thus stopping the Siachen Glacier region. But over the period of time what do we see in this is the Siachen Glacier, India is not going to demilitarize the Siachen Glacier, India is going to occupy the Siachen Glacier region. So remember this. So for prelims point of view, you should just remember that it is the longest glacier in the third pole. Because if India comes back again from the CHN glacier, it will be occupied by China and or by Pakistan. Secondly, it is the source of origin of river Nubra. Nubra is a tributary of river Shok and Shok is the tributary of river Indus. So the CHN glacier is a feeds. Can I say Indus? River system, Siachen Glacier feeds the Indus River system and ideally what range mein hai? it is in the Karakoram range. Rest of the things will be done in the IR etc. But geographical points you remember for preliminary examination. This will skip the Kashmir dispute, but you should know that this line is known as line of actual control, line of control, L-O-C and this is L-A-C. So L-O-C is between India and Pakistan, L-A-C is between India and China, but India and China ka konsa line? Eastern sector ka line. Or western sector ka? Western sector ka line. Eastern sector ka line is known as Mac Mohan line. I will skip this part. Jabam Punjab karenge. We are not concerned about the Pakistan part. We will come directly to the Sir Creek issue. Can someone tell me what is the Sir Creek issue? Marshy land. So, 
सो यू मस्ट हैव डन द बाउंड्री स्पुट इन पॉल साइंस ऑप्शनल या इन आई आर आप करोगे द सो आई एम नॉट कंसर्न विद दैट वाई इंडिया एंड पाकिस्तान आर सो इंपॉर्टेंट इन सर क्रिक रिश्यू सो यू कैन टेक डाउन इट इज अ मार्शी रीजन इट इज अ मार्शी रीजन इट इज अ मार्शी रीजन गिव मी दैट लेस इट इज अ मार्शी रीजन व्हिच इज एक्सट्रीमली रिच सोर्स ऑफ इट इज एन एक्सट्रीमली रिच सोर्स ऑफ पेट्रोलियम एंड नेचुरल गैस एक्सट्रीमली रिच सोर्स ऑफ पेट्रोलियम एंड नेचुरल गैस एक्सट्रीमली रिच सोर्स ऑफ पेट्रोलियम एंड नेचुरल गैस एंड ड्यू टू हाई कॉन्टिनेंटल शेल्फ एंड ड्यू टू वाइड कॉन्टिनेंटल शेल्फ ड्यू टू वाइड कॉन्टिनेंटल शेल्फ इंपॉर्टेंट फिशिंग रीजन इंपॉर्टेंट फिशिंग रीजन इंपॉर्टेंट फिशिंग रीजन ओपन द मैप ऑफ गुजरात पेज नंबर 15, पॉलिटिकल मैप ऑफ गुजरात सो यू कैन सी दिस देर आर सम लॉज नोन एज लॉज ऑफ इंटरनेशनल बाउंड्रीज एंड फ्रंटियर एज पर द लॉ ऑफ इंटरनेशनल बाउंड्री एंड फ्रंटियर इफ अ कंट्री इज लोकेटेड इन द मार्शी रीजन और इन द सी इफ दैट मार्शी रीजन इज अ सी और इफ दैट इज अ रिवर तो लॉज अलग अलग है पाकिस्तान का कहना है कि दिस वॉज रीजन विच वॉज वंस अ सी fine and because it was a sea this area should be equally divided between india and pakistan and therefore pakistan claims this entire run of kutch because ye pura samandar tha and because this is a sea this was once a sea so exactly half se boundary jani chahiye in simple words getting it but india says this was not a sea this was once a sea which was having an island understanding this and when there is an island island belongs to which mainland india. india and therefore pakistan cannot claim the region understanding this are very fine details regarding the laws of boundary and frontier if there is an island island is connected to which region agar tertiary island hai to pakistan ko mil jata but the island belongs to the pre cambrian period matlab the island is connected to the peninsular india and because it is connected to the peninsular india who has peninsular india india has the peninsular india and isliye sir creek mein the issue went to the court पाकिस्तान लॉस्ट बट एज अ सोर्स ऑफ कंपनसेशन थोड़ा लैंड दिया गया उनको एंड दिस इज व्हाट इज द यू कैन सी दिस फाइन सो उसके नीचे इज द सर क्रिक आई डोंट वांट यू टू रिमेंबर द सर क्रिक सर क्रिक सभी को पता है कहां पे है सर क्रिक के नीचे की दो क्रिक्स याद रखना कोरी क्रिक इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज आजकल फिशिंग डिस्प्यूट हो रहा है कोरी क्रिक रीजन में Creek means जहां पे a small region of estuaries where the rivers will see enters the mouth of the rivers. That is creek, a very narrow estuary. River का delta estuary when river enters the see enters the mouth of a river that is a creek. So understood? Kori Creek कौन से state में है Gujarat. Why it is in current news? Because that is a source of dispute. again between indian fisherman and pakistani fisherman the kori creek is extremely rich in fishing and corals corals hai to fishing hai and therefore it is a source of dispute so you should remember kori creek kaise question aayega question aayega arrange the following creeks from north to south abhi sirf itna yaad rakhna kori creek north mein hai jab hum kerala karenge to south ki creek hame pata lag jayegi jab hum maharashtra karenge to ek maharashtra ki important creek jab karnataka karenge karnataka ki important creek and then upsc will ask you to arrange this creeks from north to south so starts with kori creek and then godai creek south south hai you can see there kori creek k o r i kori creek mila those who have not got see here sir creek sir creek ke just niche there is a kori creek which is an inlet here 
एंड देन उसके बाद इज द गोदाई क्रिक गोदाई क्रिक के बाद गल्फ ऑफ कच गल्फ ऑफ कच के बाद गल्फ ऑफ खंबात सो दिस इज हाउ द आइडिया इज सो फाइन विद इंडो पाकिस्तान रेस्ट ऑफ द थिंग्स आपने रिस्पेक्टिव सब्जेक्ट्स में एंड द थर्ड डिस्प्यूट बिटवीन इंडिया एंड पाकिस्तान इज इंडस वाटर ट्रीटी विल डू वाइल डूइंग द ड्रेनेज सिस्टम ऑफ इंडिया इंडस वाटर ट्रीटी फोर्थ इंडो म्यानमार यस वॉट मैं नहीं पढ़ाऊंगा कुर्ता कॉरिडोर क्या मैं जोग्राफिकली देखो पढ़ाने के लिए बट जो जब रिस्पेक्टिव टीचर आएंगे दे विल बी बेटर एबल टू टेल यू मैं क्या बताऊंगा आपको ग्रेट प्लेन्स में कौन सी रिवर जाती है सो so, so you can take down indo myanmar boundary is a natural boundary underline the word natural ab tak hum superimpose kar rahe the so this is one natural boundary indo myanmar boundary is a natural boundary it's a natural boundary and also and also a water divide and also a water divide also a water divide between india and myanmar also a water divide between india and myanmar next it is formed by it is formed by purvanchal hills natural and water divide it is formed by purvanchal hills purvanchal hills means eastern himalayas which from north to south are patkai bam naga hills which from north to south are patkai bam naga hills manipur hills east manipur west manipur hills and lushai hills and mizo hills or lushai hills and lushai hills can i continue and lushai hills don't draw anything abhi they continue into myanmar they continue into myanmar as arakan yoma as arakan yoma they continue into myanmar as arakan yoma which further continues as andaman and nicobar islands which further continues as andaman and nicobar islands now you can draw this diagram
Understanding this map? <laughs> yes, you have to draw this. Otherwise, you will have to study from the atlas. Jo bilkul nahi samjhega. So what does this map show? This map shows ki this river is river Brahmaputra, jiska naam is Brahmaputra in India, jiska naam is Dihang in Arunachal, uske do tributary hai Dibang and Lohit. Then Purvanchal hills or eastern Himalayas or Indo-Myanmar border acts as a water divide between Indian drainage system and Brahmaputra ka drainage system, that is Myanmar ka drainage system. In Myanmar, the most important river is river Iravadi, which the most important tributary is Chindwin, which originates in Arunachal Pradesh, because Patkai Bhuma are located in Arunachal Pradesh. Then Mount Saramati is the highest peak of Nagaland, because it is located in the Naga Hills. Manipur is famous for two geographic importance. One is river Barak, which is an important part of Ganga Brahmaputra Delta originates in the Manipur hills and second important is Kebul Lamjao National Park that is in the Loktak Lake and last point is Lushai Mountains which are the in Mizoram have a peak which is known as Blue Mountains which is very very different from Nilgiris. <coughs> Understanding this? The next point in this diagram is that Rakhine state is located in which part of Myanmar? So Rakhine state is located in the northwestern part of Myanmar, very near to Bangladesh and West Bengal. And the Rohingyas are migrating from the Rakhine either to Bangladesh or to India. Rakhine state is famous for Rohingyas. Getting it? So ye sab likhne se achha. Atlas may study karlo. Agar reverse se confusion ho raha hai, reverse mat banao. What is the name of Ganga in Bangladesh? It is Padma. What is the name of Brahmaputra in Bangladesh? It is Jamuna. Fir jab Ganga and Jamuna milti hai, aur uske baad jab Barak milti hai, toh name becomes? Meghna. फिर भी मैंने यहाँ पे एक और चीज नहीं दी आपको। इसलिए जब यहाँ पे बनाओगे डायग्राम जाते जाते मेट्रो में रिवाइज करो वो दिमाग में बैठ जाएगा अगर सोचोगे बाद में बनाऊंगा मैं नहीं होने वाला इंडियन ज्योग्राफी बाद में बिकॉज़ इट विल बी मोस्टली डायग्राम बेस्ड फाइन फाइन विद दिस Abhishek. Chindwin is a river. Iravadi is the main river. Chindwin is a tributary of river Iravadi. Just say Ganga Yamuna. Ganga is the main river and so we will write this. We are going to write. 
Why these are all important? Because Iravadi is most important for? Iravadi dolphins, the mouth of Iravadi pehar, not in this region. It is most important for tea kud. Fine with this? So I will stop here. I have to go to the old office. So before the new office. So before I go, I'll give you some MCQs. Solve karo. Jitna aapko idea hai. We'll discuss the MCQs tomorrow. Don't go. Abhi MCQs solve karo. So you can go now, MCQs, <laughs> the entire purpose is defeated. So we'll do the MCQs of today's and tomorrow's class tomorrow. Uh. Yes. Kal, kal, sab. Hmm? Indian geography, के लिए, world geography. के लिए. Yes, I'm going to